politics of fear and resentment and retrenchment began to appear. And that kind of politics is now on the move. It's on a move at a pace that would have seemed unimaginable just a few years ago. I am not being alarmist. I am simply stating the facts. Look around. Strongman politics are ascendant suddenly, whereby elections and some pretense of democracy are maintained, the form of it, but those in power seek to undermine every institution or norm that gives democracy meaning. In the West, you've got far-right parties that oftentimes are based not just on platforms of protectionism and closed borders, but also on barely hidden racial nationalism. The free press is under attack. Censorship and state control of media is on the rise. Social media, once seen as a mechanism to promote knowledge and understanding and solidarity, has proved to be just as effective promoting hatred and paranoia and propaganda and conspiracy theories. In fact, it is in part because of the failures of governments and powerful elites to squarely address the shortcomings and contradictions of this international order that we now see much of the world threatening to return to an older, a more dangerous, a more brutal way of doing business. But he believed, as I believe, that you can be proud of your heritage without denigrating those of a different heritage. In fact, you dishonor your heritage. It, it, it would make me think that you're a little insecure about your heritage if you got to put somebody else's heritage down. Yeah, that's right. That, that, that these people who are, are so intent on, on putting people down and, and puffing themselves up that they're small-hearted. <laughs> that, 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 that there's, uh, there's something, something they're just afraid of. We have to actually believe in an objective reality. This is another one of these things that I didn't think I had to lecture about. You have to believe in facts. Without facts, there's no basis for cooperation. If I say this is a podium and you say this is an elephant, it's going to be hard for us to cooperate. I can't find common ground if somebody says climate change is just not happening when almost all the world's scientists tell us it is. I don't know where to start talking to you about this. If you start saying it's an elaborate hoax, I don't know what to... Where do we start? Unfortunately, too much of politics today seems to reject the very concept of objective truth. People just make stuff up. They, they just make stuff up. We see it in the growth of state-sponsored propaganda. We see it in internet-driven fabrications. We see it in the, in the blurring of lines between news and entertainment. We see the, the utter loss of shame among political leaders where they're caught in a lie and they just double down and they lie some more. It used to, look, let me say, politicians have always lied, but it used to be if you caught them lying, they'd be like, oh, man. 
Now they just keep on lying. They, they just...